everybody, this is Alan Vanward. I'm going to be showing you a little comparison in a demo slash review of V picks, guitar picks today. Specifically, the Dimension is what I'm going to be focused on, the three different variations of it that I've got with me here today. Uh, so sit back, check it out, I'll do it under a bunch of different settings, some different styles of music, so you could get a good understanding of what to expect with one of these. Picks. First thing I'd like to start off with is we need a control. All right, so for the control, pardon me, bend it down. I'm gonna use uh, this, is this guitar pick. I don't even know what this thing is. And the first thing we're gonna check out is just a straight clean tone volume. Uh, here's what it sounds like: straight chord. Then I'll bring volume. All right, let's go to the non chord tap normal bridge. Soft. Can't play no soft, really. Wow. Dimension V pick unbuffed. Uh, now the unbuffed edge gives a little bit of a different sound than you might be used to, and it gives it like a little bit of a texture, which I like. Plus, it's a bigger size. These are thick picks, all right, uh, which I like because my hands are kind of big, so it's comfortable for me. It's up to the user, of course. But we have a variation today to show you on this that's smaller, which is really cool too. All right, so soft. <laughs> Let's go to the coil tap neck. Soft. All right, so that's that one. It gives it a little bit that sound. Go back to the other one again. Here's the generic, whatever it was. All right, back to the V pick dimension, unbuffed big one. I feel like I'm getting a little bit, maybe like 1.5 kilohertz. A little bit brighter. Uh, this isn't the brightest one though, because it's unbuffed, which kind of gives it, for me anyway, it seems like it's given a little bit of a less upper frequency range. So now we're gonna do the buffed version, which this one is nice and slippery. <laughs> slippery, all right? So uh, this one, we're gonna do the same deal. I'll go nice and quiet. Bring it up. And we'll do it with the other pickup configuration. All right, back to what we were doing with the little. All right, back to the generic one. Same volume, it seems a little bit duller, right? Back to the um, to the buffed one, dimension. V pick. All right, now we're gonna do the unbuffed. Let's do a little lick. Let's do that on the buffed one. And now uh, the unbuffed. And back to the buffed. It's very, very close. Um, this one seems, the unbuffed seems to be a slight, slight bit duller. This one seems to have a more of a snap. A little bit of a snap. I kind of like a snap um, and a bit of a percussion, a percussion sound. This is the smaller version of the Dimension. This is for people with uh, regular thumb sizes, I guess. <clears throat> However, I'm used to playing on smaller picks for years anyway. So this is kind of comfortable too. Uh, I have no problem switching between this. I've, I've played on these a lot. <laughs> So soft. Wow. All right, now what I'm going to do is play as hard as I can on one note. I'm going to switch the picks, and I'll edit it so they're right in order. Okay, so this one, we're going to go in this order. I'll do the Dimension Junior. 
unbuffed, then the dimension unbuffed, and then the dimension buffed, all right? So here's the note. All right, I think I picked in the same spot. All right, so those are the differences in sound there. It shouldn't be much of a difference. And now, oops, <clears throat> I lost my pick. Tell you what, one thing about V-picks, the clear ones, you drop it, it's gone forever. Now I saw it, I'm joking with you. Um, that does that does happen. It's like a magic. It's like where the socks go to hang out with the picks. They just vanish. Uh, anyway, okay. So I do have another uh, control pick in here, which is it's just a straight up medium V pick, right? It's nice and red though, so it's easy to see on a carpet. So let's do this. don't happen to love the feel of it for me personally and oh by the way my reviews are like brutally honest I don't I don't uh, hold back so if something's not working for me <clears throat> even for little reasons even if they're personal I'll, I'll give the reason that I think it's good to be honest as you guys probably know you know me but anyway um yeah this one not my favorite V pick um I definitely am into the dimension ones especially the bigger ones unbuffed I like because I feel it gives me more of a sense of texture when I'm playing so I can feel what I'm doing. Now, to keep things uh, understood by everybody, I am an economy picker. Uh, I'm, people call me a shred guitar player because I play fast, but I, I play a lot of different genre, genres of music. But I economy pick, which means that I've got already got like a very slick technique anyway. So by using this, I feel that it gives me a little bit more definition. Um, not in the, the fact that I'm missing notes or anything like that, but it just, I feel reaction when I hit the strings, if that makes sense. So when I go like this, I could feel each, almost if I was palm muting. Um, by the way, big difference between these picks and normal picks, when you play low, when I play down there, you get that attack. And these are, these are old, these are strings that have been beaten down. If you can see that, check it out. Check, check it out. All right, so they're beating the heck down, right? If I use a uh, generic, whatever the hell pick, right? That's my normal, that's what I just did. I'll do the same thing with this one. Each, each hit seems to have more definition for me. It's a slight difference, but when I'm recording, I want that to come through. You know, there's certain parts that you really want that. Now, jazz guys like the dull sound. Now you could obviously raw off your tone and get that sound, but I like that popping. that you get like a bass player when you pop your fingers for hybrid. But this gets that sort of tone on its own picking, which I think is awesome. Because I'm not one of those cool Nashville guys that could... You know. Not yet, anyway. I love that stuff. I can't do it. So that's the V Picks demonstration, clean, funk, sort of, maybe a little bit of jazz stuff going on, right? Uh, now for the rock guys, uh, not lead yet, I'll, I'll do maybe some leads later. This isn't a show off video or something stupid. I like to give an accurate demonstration of the picks. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to jump into my rhythm channel that I commonly use for recording and live. All right, and we're gonna, right now I'm sticking with this dimension uh, unbuffed normal size. <laughs> Go 
back to the generic weird pick. Uh, here's the generic weird pick. <laughs> Not a huge difference to me, not a big difference in the sound to me at least. However, this is a lot easier to play on for me. The, the other, but the other one's worn down. So to be fair, the other pick is definitely worn, um, and I need a, a pick because I, I barely. With my technique, I just use the tip of the pick. Let's try the other dimensions. Uh, here's the buffed dimension. All right, so anyway, let's try the back to the unbuffed. All right, I hear the difference. So here's the here's the buffed. Here's the unbuffed. I don't know if you guys could tell. This one, for some reason, when I have the gain on, in reverse of what it was doing when I was playing clean, this now seems to have a more refined, sharp pick attack, uh, which is really strange. I don't know why that there's a difference between that when I did it with the clean. I don't know. Maybe I'll hear it better when I'm in the, with the studio monitors and not the amp cranked in my ear. All right, so I can't forget the medium pick. There's a little lick I do that definitely needs pick attack. I'll, I'll give you the shot that way. Here's the buffed. All right. I already hear all my notes better than I did with the uh, medium one. All right, here's the unbuff. Should have warmed up. Anyway. I, I, oops, yes, it's my favorite pick. So, if you're like, I wonder which one Alan likes the most, I'll be honest with you, the one that Alan uses the most is the Dimension Unbuffed Normal Size V-Pick. And I'm not saying which of the three I use most out of those V-Picks. Every pick that I use out of all the picks that I've tried in the world, this is my go-to pick. This is what I use live for my shows with multiple bands in different genres. This is what I use for recordings in different genres, uh, except for, uh, if very rare, but if I, if I play on an acoustic guitar, um, I'll use a uh, less brutal, brutally thick pick. Not always, but usually if I'm strumming. If I want to strum and get that bouncy sound out of the pick, um, I tend to use a thinner, like nylon or something like that if I find one laying around. But again, I'm not usually on acoustic. Maybe I could show you guys some acoustic uh, with these. I might as well do that. That's a really good idea, Alan. Great. I'll do that. All right, you guys. A bit of a warning. This is acoustic guitar. Look at those strings, how old they are. Look at that. Look at that dirt and grime. That's a real acoustic right there. You see, you got this beat up neck. You got horrible action. I'm going to show you what V picks sound on a garbage beat up acoustic. All right, first we're going to use the buffed dimension. See if I can get comfortable here. I'm losing picks. All right, enough of that one. There it goes. Next up, we've got Dementia Junior Unbuffed. It sounds like the movie guy almost with that voice. So if you want definition and you're picking on an acoustic. Wow! There 
here we go. Dude, that sounds awesome. I'm going to be using these picks for everything. <coughs> I don't think anybody's going to top these picks, man. I'll be honest with you. I've been using these far too long, and I still love them. And, you know, I, I get sick of stuff quick. I'll be honest with you. I'm one of those guys. I'm like, oh, I want to try something new. I want to try something new. I'm afraid to even switch up now. These things rock. Now, here's the uh, large unbuffed. I bet you didn't know I could play an acoustic. It's almost in tune. Be Aldi Miola or some, I forget his songs, but. How come Alan Shred's better on acoustic? I don't know. Maybe he's just warmed up now, finally. Um, Alright, dude, so that. And do that. Because girls would also love this pick. Um, in fact, I've gotten lots of dates. Because they think that it's a diamond. And of course, if girls think that you're carrying around diamonds as a guitar pick, they know you've got some kind of cash. Not only the guitar, I mean, the guitar might help, but they come up and they see that. They're like, is that a, is that a gem? Is that a diamond? I'm like, yeah, that's that's how I roll. I'll use these, I use diamonds as my picks. And they'll say, man, I'm going to date you. I'll be like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not allowed to date. I'm too cool for you. And then it drives them nuts. So you want to drive the girls nuts? You want to be awesome more awesome i shouldn't say it because picks do make see here's the thing i'm against saying that you need a certain thing to play properly i don't like that feeling i'll be honest with you and i i think you could get used to just about anything if you use it enough however i was used to some picks for years i, sw I switched over i tried this and uh, that was that there was no there's really no going back and it makes a difference uh it's not just that it's thicker and sturdy and I don't want to go to a crazy physics lesson. Um, I know people don't care for that. When I do that, I, I think they think I'm maybe nuts. But there's a, there's definitely a difference um, when you use a thicker, stronger, sturdier pick. Um, like if I drop this thing, yeah. All right, now if I drop this pick, it'll probably float away. Let me see. That's pathetic. That pick ain't doing, ain't doing nothing. All right, so... You want to get a real pick? You want to roll with the shredders? And that's another thing. A lot of us uh, quick guitar players have been using these things. Uh, specifically the same one, which is weird. We did. It's not like we had some uh, meeting and said, which pick do we like? Everybody's been picking these things, and it just happens to be an awesome guitar pick. Uh, again, I'm straight honest with my reviews. I don't uh, sugarcoat stuff. I think that's prohibiting people. You know I'm all about science, logic, honesty, being direct. And I really honestly use these picks more than anything else, hands down. Um, in fact, if I had like a thousand of these picks, that's all I would ever use, I think. Uh, the, only the only time I don't use them is when they're worn down to a little stub or stump, and then I have to uh, use a different one. You know, that's, that, I hate that's a bad, that's a depressing feeling when your V-pick wears down. I'll tell you that. It takes a while. It really does, because I play a lot of notes, and it wears down, and then I'm like, oh, man, what am I going to do? I gotta get more V-picks. That's what it comes down to. All right, guys, so hopefully, hopefully you like this little demo. And uh, you could laugh at me trying to play the acoustic. Um, I'll catch everybody I'm supposed to say goodbye. Please subscribe to my channel. Definitely check out v-picks.com. Uh, I'm telling you, try it. Try it out. Give it a shot. It might take a little bit, like maybe a couple hours to get used to for certain people. Uh, I've been playing a long time, so I could kind of, I could play with just my finger. You know what I mean? You don't really need a pick in my case because I've been playing for a while. Because I'm a nerd. But um, you heard it here. Grab a V Picks. The best. All right. So anyway, V Picks. V hyphen picks dot com. Uh, or 615-927-5989 if you want to call and tell them that Alan Van Wert sent you. I know that I've had, uh, they've got a lot of picks. you might, you got to go to their website and check out how, how many. Uh, I would be willing to say maybe too many picks, but they're making these for a lot of pro guitar players and bass guitarists that you've all heard of. 
and this guy called Alan, who's awesome at demo and picks and shredding. So that's that. Hey guys, I wanted to uh, show everybody the difference between the picks in slow motion. I thought it'd be a nice idea to quick shoot this outside because it was nice out. When I go to the generic, whatever the heck pick it was, um, you'll see how much, not only does it shift around in my hand, but you'll notice that it bounces, um, it kind of has its own little recoil that I think causes issues. And you can even hear in my plane. <laughs> something I was just about to leave and I noticed I forgot to show you a seven string I know a lot of people play seven strings even eight strings so before I leave yes. So here is the dimension un unbuffed full size. All right, here is the junior buffed. Seven string sounds, so, they're, they're so much fun. I gotta start playing this thing more often. And here is the buffed dimension. Actually, this was a junior, I didn't realize the whole time. Yeah, that sounds nice. So, now you can hear the normal pick. The lesbian seagull pick. I don't know what the hell's on this thing. <laughs> Go back to my favorite dimension on buff. Be like Anthrax. What is that song? I want milk. All right. Well, they didn't have a seven string then, did they? Um, so that's that. Sorry for being forgetful, dude.